He came up like he was going to get on my boat. That was a big ass beaver. <laughs> I just came right up to the boat. Oh, and I just got a bite just as soon as I turned around. That, that pole right there just hit. There's that beaver again. There he goes. Looks like he's got himself stuck. Oh, uh, he's got me in some trees here. There we go. First cat. Took me about six, seven minutes to get him. Not bad. Good looking fish. See if we can get grippers here. There we go. Went really fast. Didn't take long at all. It's a great little two-pounder. Nice little blue cat. And hopefully you can get into a whole bunch more of these. Caught them on the Carolina rig. Three ounce sinker with a uh, shad head. Five aught hook, just like that. Getting two bites at once. This pole's getting a bite, and that pole's getting a bite. So, see which one goes first. And there he is again. Oh, he's on there now. Ah. It's a pretty decent fish here, it feels like. It's got current with them, though. I think he's got a piece of wood stuck on the line here, too. We'll see. He's not a bad fish, but with that current at his face, you know, they always feel a lot bigger. Get out of there. There we go. So, good size um, blue cat. You know, this is a good eater size. About three pounds. Uh, caught him again on cut shad, uh, five out hook. Uh, just in an eddy right off the main channel there, so good looking fish. If you look though, he's blind here. His eyeballs completely scarred over because someone used too big of a hook. So it's a pretty important thing when you catch and when you're after fish, you, you know you're going to catch a lot of these you know, smaller two, three, four pounders. Five aught's about as big a hook as you're going to need. So you don't really need to go crazy and put anything too big on it, you know. So let's get him back out there. Get home. <laughs> Look at that chunk of, I mean, the forest coming down the river here. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we're uh, we're off the main river, huh? There's a guy coming up river right now that's not, so I need to watch out. Of course, that's why you you gotta be careful going up down these rivers at night uh, for that exact reason. They can get a little bit dangerous on you, so. I just wanted to take a moment to point out how important these poles are here. And you can see them. I use these to, to get myself staked into weird positions where my anchor maybe can't work as well as it should or maybe isn't grabbing. Oh, he's on. Okay.
Another one about the same size it feels like to me. He might be a little better. I don't think he's a lot better, but I think he might be a little better. He feels pretty decent, actually. There's like a little ledge there, and they try to get up under that ledge. Both fish I caught out here did the same thing right there. Well, he's about the same. Yeah. So I was starting to say it's really important to have good stakeout poles or, or shallow water anchor or you know there's a hundred things people call them but it's really important to have them. Um, when you're trying to get yourself in a position where you can get set up to fish like I am here in a weird spot you know it can be hard look I got a fish on right there. And he's, he ain't on yet let's get this one going. It, it can be a little bit hard to get yourself in a position you want to be in to fish. And it does make a pretty big difference if, you know, if you can really control, he's on, if you can control how you can set your boat up and, you know, come out for these perfect eater sized blue cat like this, you know, great little fish. And, uh, you know, you got to have some versatility to catch them sometimes. Today's one of those days, the water's up really, really high. They're right on this, the seam of the current I've come to figure out, you know, so great looking fish. Um, Back here, I got this pole and this pole. We got two poles going on here. Positioning's critical. Positioning's everything in a lot of uh, a lot of cases. So, when you're setting your boat up, don't forget that you're going to need things like the shallow water anchors, um, good quality anchors, and you know, there's just a lot to be said about what can be achieved with a good anchor. So, look closely. You can see the current, right? And you see how it's got little ripples, and if you look closely, it's kind of a little eddy area right there. I'm trying to get right at the current where it drops it into the eddy, okay? That is perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. So that's going to put me right at the edge of the current and just kind of push me off. It should push it downstream just a little bit and push me off into the eddy. And, and there's doing it right now. And that puts me in a position where... When the fish are sitting right outside the current or right in the current, looking for bait fish that are resting or injured, that's where they're going to be looking for them, and that's where a lot of times you'll find them, of course. So, okay try to get through some more twigs and limbs over here than I thought there was. He's not very big at all. Uh, well, he ain't terrible. He's an eater. Um, but yeah, he uh, got in some limbs there for a second. I didn't know if I was going to bring him in or not. Kept my shad. Lucky little guy, I guess you can have it. You gonna try to swallow it? He is, he's swallowing it. Well, you earned it, I guess. You can have it. Just a little guy. He is, I mean, it's not a bad eater. You can eat him that size. It's just, he's kind of right at the point where it's almost not worth it, really, but I'll let him go. Get him back home. So, on the shad, here's kind of the size I'm using this evening. You can kind of see. I do about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in there. Just like that. That works pretty well. I think he's got it. He's being a little gentle, but... Huh. Yeah, he's on there, I do believe. It's just, I think he's a really little fish. We got him on there. He is He is on for sure. I think we just caught ourselves uh, just a little bitty thing here. Oh, he got stuck right there. Same spot. Every one of them gets down there is a 
a brush pile or something. Every one of them tries to get into it. Luckily, we've pulled them all over the top of it so far. Yeah, that's the smallest one today for sure. Not a big one. I mean, uh, still fun to catch. You gotta love catching fish here regardless. In fact, we're gonna be really gentle with this guy. I don't wanna break his jaw. It caught him in the bottom of the jaw. So here's a little trick for you guys. When you get one like that, and he's little, you gotta be very careful. You're gonna take your crimpers, you're gonna grab right next to that hook where there's no pressure on his jaw. You're gonna take the hook, just like this, turn it around, let me get to the other side of it here, and you're actually gonna push down in his, into his mouth and shake. See that? So simple. It didn't hurt him at all. You can break their little jaw if you're not careful and get a little one. So you gotta, you gotta do that every now and then, but it's a little bitty blue cat. But thank you very much anyways. Go get bigger. I'll see you someday. Let's get back out there. There we go.